we asked Saskatchewan what they know about 5G. Uh, more speed, more innovation. That's going to make our lives a whole heck of a lot easier. This is what 5G looks like. Better, faster. Sounds like one more G. Sounds pretty good. I don't know what it means. All you really need to know is the future of 5G is here and will continue improving through investments in network technology. I had that problem with a game yesterday. My partner could hear me, but James couldn't. We'll let you know when we're live here, Sean. You can see the game, hey, Sean? I can. Okay, good. Well, at least we got that figured. But I got the colors backwards. Oh, good evening, everyone. I think we've got the technical issues figured out now. Sean Joyce joining you here live from the uh, RBC Dominion Securities Western Showdown. We've got a B event qualifier for you here this afternoon. Yunjin Kim out of Korea facing off against Abby Ackland. Two teams in this matchup had a chance to practice before the game. They throw a draw to the button for last rock. Is the Ackland team throwing the yellow stones that will have last rock here in the opening end. Just on to second stones now, the final second stone for the Korean team. Looking to clean things up in the middle a little bit. Running back one of her own and, oh boy, almost made the double on the yellows. The guard and the one shot rock sitting at the top of the eight foot. Opportunity for the Ackland team to try to pull another one around the guard, get a second shot as well. So sitting two here early in the first end. 
looking to perhaps score as many as two or three. Everything's now. Looking for the run back one more time. Catches the guard, does clip the stone at the top of the house. But a little bit of a bad break there and then it jams at the back. So it's Ackland still sitting two. And now with the chance to perhaps pull a third one around. Plenty of room by the guard. Now this one looks like it's got a lot of weight. Hoping it stops in front of the T-line. It does. So Ackland sitting three. With that one sliding that deep uh, chance for Yunjin Kim to ask for the come around. Sit right on top of that rock and they can eliminate those other two counters would drastically sh shrink the scoring area as well. Tighter line coming by the guard. Might be able to get to the inside of this. Doesn't get right down to it. Definitely cut out the one at the back. But I think it might still be Ackland sitting too. That's what she indicates. That stone top eight foot still a bit of a problem for the Ackland team. They can't really do much to eliminate it. So we're going to look to corner freeze on it. Comes down, sits on the corner, may have nudged it just a little bit, perhaps enough that uh, the redstone is now second shot. Yun Jung asking the other end how much of that yellow they can see, not that they're looking to make a play on it. They're worried about uh, Abby Ackland hitting what she can see, that yellow stone and driving the red out the back. Could leave her sitting four. That's a problem stone for them. Looking at what she can do on the other side. I'm not sure here.
unfortunately we don't have mics on these players and <laughs> even if we did i'm not sure i'd be able to tell you what they had discussed but i'm looking at the ice thing does she think she can see enough perhaps of that yellowstone at the top of the eight foot to maybe play a bit of a slash on it Maybe just trying to get to the face of it, tap it through, and leave her shooter in a good spot. Makes the tap. Does come to the stone at the back and rolls off enough that uh, the Koreans seem to be sitting 2-3 right now. The two yellows at the back would be about 5th and 6th right now. The Ackland team still looking at that uh, situation at the front. They've got room to perhaps tap their own, remove the red. I think that might leave them sitting second shot for now. Apologies, we've had a few technical difficulties. I think Mark No is with me here now. Mark, can you hear me? I can. I can. Thanks for having me. You you picked a bad first end to miss. We've got all kinds of rocks in play. A lot of times you miss the first end, you're not missing a whole lot. Yeah, it looks like there's uh, quite a bit in play. Uh, very interesting. Uh, who has hammer this end? Ackland has the hammer. She was looking for the tap there, yellow on to red. Try to take the red out the back. Now, by removing the guard, she's got a direct path to that stone. Yin Jung Kim, with her final stone about to be delivered here in this first end, doesn't have a, an easy way into the forefoot. I think they're looking at the angle tap. That was her first stone. She played the uh, intern tap back, and that's her shooter that's sitting right there behind the broom. And you have to think the reason they played that was so they'd have it to tap up here on the last one. Yeah, I mean it's there. You don't want to. It's, just, it's it's thin to to get the one that's kind of in the top uh, top eight foot there. So if you got that shot, you I, might as well I take it. I think you played as a tap draw, but I, I don't know why you played the shot on the first one if you weren't going to play this on your second one. I think they were probably just looking to see if if that. Uh, Shot by Abby, Abby Ackland when it opened things up if it if it left anything else. But this was what they were looking at when they played the shot on her first one. And I think it's likely what they're still going to play. Get an angle tap into the button area. Those That yellow-red combination at the front is not really going to be lined up great for Abby Ackland. You've got a chance here to steal if you can tap this right to the button. Yeah, uh, while we're getting this shot uh, set up here, do want to thank everyone that's joining us, whether you're watching us on the uh, Curling Zone YouTube. Um, you know, I think as Curling Zone and Curling Stadium does more of these broadcasts, uh, we'll get more mics. Uh, mics are kind of logistically hard to set up for for these games, especially when you have multiple draws, especially back to back. So um, we'll try to bring you as much commentary and any references that the players make throughout the course of the game. You'll be responsible for the ones that are in Korea. Okay, I'll try. Uh, the uh, the cameras out on the ice surface do have mics on them, so you can hear the some of the sweep calls and things like that. And I did have a game last night. Uh, when we get down to the final end or so, when there's only one game out there, you can pick up some of the voices. This is pretty close. Just hits it a little bit on the low side. Overcurled a little bit now. Did she also line up that yellow-red combination? Because if that's lined up to kill the stone that she just tapped back, I don't know whether Abby Aglin's looking at it, but it could be for four.
Yeah. Uh, they early. Don't see. They don't seem to be looking at it, but. Uh, I don't. I don't know if the. Are you talking about the yellow on the red? I mean, it's it's in the neighborhood. Yeah. It might. Yellow red onto the red that was just tapped back. It it. I mean, it might be a dead gem, but. Yeah. If you could double the reds, it's three at least. Yeah, I mean, four. I think it's no risk here, right? You got one pretty much locked up. There's, I mean, there's no way you're removing that. Yeah, there's no way you're giving up one. But opting to just try to come down to the stone that was just tapped back. Don't think she can get to the inside of it, so she'll need to move it a couple of inches. Brushers were on this all the way. This they have to get by the stone at the top of the 12 foot. Line's going to be okay. The question is whether or not they can get it there, and that's just not quite going to make it. It'll be a score one for Abby Ackland here in the first end. She'll take the one nothing lead. It'll be Yun Jung Kim with Last Rock in the second. Our shipment of logos here in for our next event, which is going to be the mixed double. As you can see, there's a few of them. There's roughly 20 logos per sheet to be put in for the mixed doubles, along with a couple of extra little dots. But all our logos come from Jet Ice. They are the best logos to put in. We use them around the world, and they're very easy to install. As you can tell, this is the center ice logo that's going to be going in for the world. This is about a four footer by 10. It's gonna look like a million dollars. Their colors on their logos are always nice and vibrant. And like I said before, very easy to put in. Pretty small group oh, yeah. when we do the sketch ones too, sure. but. Just happy to be able to watch. Welcome back everyone. Exciting first end, uh, a lot of rocks in play. We have seen some fairly open first ends, but here in this B qualifier, these two teams look like they've come to, to play, try to put some points on the board. In the end, though, it, it's just a single point for the Ackland team. Yeah, I got to watch the uh, Kim team in the earlier draw. Um, and yeah, the first two ends were pretty pretty straightforward, just hits and hits and hits. And, uh, and then they were able to crack a big end all of a sudden. And so this uh, team, Kim, I like the way they play, you know, uh, rocks and play, not afraid. And uh, it's no wonder they're uh, a top 10 team in the world. Of course, right after we say that, they decide to hit that first rock as it comes into the rings. This one's really curling on them. Going to have to go to make contact. It'll touch it enough to get it out the back. And the shooter will hang around at the edge of the 12. Um, makes the hit stays right there. I have to admit, I did one game with the Kim team earlier, but I'm still dealing with an awfully small screen here and they do carry a five person roster. They do. So I don't think to me, this looks like the same lineup they used in the other game that I played in it. The nice side of it is that all of the last names are Kim. So if I just say Kim, I, <laughs> I, I'm right. But uh, I'll try to get the first names for you as we go along. And if anybody's sure of the the roster at home, I think Mark, you said you're watching the chat. If they, uh, <laughs> yeah, if they tip us off, that'd be great. Yeah, I, uh, I did have a Kim uh, game earlier myself, and yeah, we did have chat kind of chime in. Uh, what was the throwing order? Uh, we do see the. <laughs> Fashion photo, uh, the fashion photo headshots make it a little tough to tell when they've all got their hair pulled pulled back in ponytails, and I'm dealing with a screen that's only about five inches high. I 
think the Ackland team might be playing with a substitute as well. Yeah, I'm not as familiar the with the lineup. With the I'm not as one. familiar with the lineup, but the third is listed as Caitlin Jones. Caitlin played her junior career here in in uh, Saskatchewan, so I know her a little bit, and I don't see her out there. Huh. So uh, after a couple of early hits, I'm glad to see some uh, some guards in play now, and we'll, you know, with with that one being kind of way off into the wings, uh, I think both teams are. Able to kind of ignore it here. It'll depend what they want to do. I think the issue was that uh, you do see this once in a while, even from the North American team. So you, the Korean team didn't like that rock in the middle to start the end. So you play one hit, get the roll, roll over to the corner, and then you try to play your guards. And there the come around attempt doesn't work out for her. So now a chance for the Ackland team without Last Rock here, sitting one, three guards to work with, two on the center, looking for the come around. Does clear the guard now, just a matter of burying it and whatever depth they like. That does settle in very nicely. Now those two center guards fairly close together. and angled to come back and probably clip a piece of that stone as long as you don't hit the first one too thin and and uh, get some drag past it makes the contact does clip the stone at the top of the four boy almost caught the one at the edge of the 12 as well Continues to be Ackland sitting one edge of the 12 foot. There are three guards, but all belonging to the Koreans. Pressure's really working this hard, not just for the line. They want to get it into the forefoot and just rubs the guard. Weight, I think, would have been good. They should have had forefoot if it gets by. Leaves the chance now for the Koreans to get the hit and roll. And Mark, do you want to roll right behind the center guard or all the way over? Um, I, I, I think you... Those corners or are you really that fussy? You know, I, I mean, I think they would be happy with anything, but I think rolling all the way to the to the wings uh, will be good, and we'll see if you know Abby then makes a play at it or just comes around the center, which then you can just run your own uh, Kim Rock back. Yeah, it certainly, it probably opens up the potential for a bigger end if you roll over behind the corners. But it, you're right, it it forces Abby Ackland really to try to come around again. If she makes it good, could be a problem. How do you like that when you don't make a firm decision which one you want to roll to? You roll right into the gap. Yeah, I didn't hear a lot of discussion there about uh, where to roll it to. I'm not sure I would have been able to pick up, you know, uh, their on-ice communication there. But, yeah, just in between. Does have to negotiate this port. Sweep at the end to make sure it curls enough, makes the port, makes the hit, stays right there. Uh, looks like they're, well, even, well, they they tapped both sides here. So I guess discussing to see what the shooter's preference is and what their thoughts are. Yeah, that did roll over a couple of inches. So she's got air on both sides, but it really depends on which turn you want to play. It's... Either way, it's probably easier to come over the top. So if they're going to play the outside in, it'll be the intern here, then probably trying to roll behind the center guard. Yeah. Yeah. 
there's some thought about perhaps oh, I thought maybe they were looking at playing the angle run, get rid of the center guard. And... Yeah. Hmm. This is interesting. Looking at the straight draw. Do you like this call here? Well, you know, if you're not 100% confident of making the, the, the hit and roll, this is certainly the easiest way to sit shot rock. Yeah. You do have to be careful not to slide too deep. Ideally here, you want to be dead buried, maybe just nibbling the top of the forefoot. Make sure you've got room to score your two. This one's got plenty of room. Sweepers are off it. It's, it's got a curl, but it's got to check up at the same time here. Trying to bring it back now. It's one of those cases where if it's going to be behind the T line, it better be well behind the T line. Uh, it does settle for shot rock, uh, and you can see most of it here. So uh, definitely accessible with quiet weight. Probably doesn't care too much if she holds the shooter here. She's got the two rocks in play that she needs to get the force. You won't want to be flirting with the guard here, I don't think. Uh, a little bit more weight than I would have thought, but like I said, not not too worried about getting to the inside and keeping the shooter here, but should be just fine. Does make the hit. Shooter rolls across and I think out of the rings, but it is close. Yep. Thanks to this overhead cam, we can see, I can see some paint there, some white paint, so... Looks like it's out, but yeah, that angle can always be a little deceptive. The overhead cameras over the the center hole. We need to we need to look over top of the rock. So sometimes you can see a little bit of white, and those rocks are still in. It's it's not a not quite as precise as looking over the top. Yeah. Injun Kim with her first stone here in the second end, still looking for that come around. Could still set up the deuce. Going hard now for a line here. Boy, this one's curling big time. It is by the top. Great job by the brushers to bring that into the top of the eight foot. It is shot rock and it is buried. Abby Auckland, not too much to think about here. She's just going to try to come around everything. And this is one if where if you had to, you don't mind this one coming to the back forefoot. You, you want to bury it. You want to make sure it's it's in there well enough that uh, Kim can't make a play to remove it. And you're trying to come around a stone at the top of the eight foot. So hard to do that and stay in front of the T-line. Final stone here for Abby Ackland. Brushers have been on this one. Not not a firm scrub yet, but close. They're waiting on it to curl. It's going now. Now I'm trying to bury it here. It's got to go to get it buried. She's going to get a piece in behind. But that probably gives uh, Yunjin Kim enough room if she wants to make a play at it. play with just like back 12 foot weight try to move it far enough to score two yeah i think so i mean it's it's hard to throw much more weight than that and hold the shooter i mean you can see most of it and uh you know if it's if it's made uh you get your two here and you can even roll out 
or roll towards the wings a little bit, right? You just uh... have to stay full eight foot. That's about it. Final stone for Kim here in the second end. She's trailing by one. Has second shot at the top of the eight foot, looking to make a play on shot rock. Uh, maybe just a hair up. Brushers seem to think it was a little bit firm. Now they've already jumped the sweep from the offside, trying to get some curl. Needs to get a piece of this oh. stone. It'll slide by. So nice draw by Abby Ackland on her final stone. Gets the steal of one. Now has a 2 nothing lead over Yunjin Kim. It'll be Kim with Last Rock in the third. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the 2022 Western Showdown, the largest international women's curling event in Canada this season. We're so glad you've decided to join us to see some of the top female curlers in the world participate in this event. My name is Jim Grundy. I'm the branch director of RBC Dominion Securities here in Swift Current. Our branch is not only a huge fan and support of curling in our community, we're so proud to be supporting the Western Showdown for its inaugural year. RBC is committed to working with our community partners to promote and celebrate vibrancy in sport and the communities in which we live. Thank you to everyone from the Western Showdown team for putting together this amazing event. On behalf of RBC, enjoy the tournament. <music> Saskatchewan, you know Sastel because we're everywhere. Because being everywhere keeps us connected to you. With Sastel sponsorships, we get to be part of your community. We're here with you and we're here for you. It's easy to get started. All you need to do is apply. Sastel cares. Always has, always will. To apply for sponsorship, visit sastel.com slash sponsorships. Third end underway here. Center guard thrown up by the Ackland team. Here it is the uh, first lead stone for the Koreans looking to come around it. Uh, a lot of room on this one here. They're, we're sweeping it to kind of keep it, uh, keep it straighter. So I don't know if they're expecting a really hard finish here. Going to stay out in the open with a little bit of daylight to try to make a play on it. Uh, I think some people are asking in the chat here, uh, winning this match, when is the next one? So this is uh, one of the B finals, so qualifier, and that would go to the essentially the playoff starting tomorrow morning, right? Yes, the winner of this game moves on to the qual to the championship uh, round tomorrow morning. That's uh, and I, <laughs> I should look, but I believe the first game is 9 a.m. Saskatchewan time. Okay. The loser does the Two game there are two B qualifiers on right now. Those two will drop down to C qualifying. They'll get another chance in just a few hours. Yeah. Rusher's working hard on this one to get it by the guard. Not going to. Well. Nice thing about that quiet wait, it saves the rock. Had they uh, removed the guard from play, that's still a free guard and would have been replaced. So now all of the all of the uh, rocks that are in play touching the rings. 
yeah, interesting result there with the uh, maybe accidental tick there. Or maybe that was purposeful. Who knows? Looking to make the hit and uh, sweeping for a little bit of curl. I'd like to hold the shooter as well. It does hang on, but I think the red at the back of the 12 foot, there's a good look at it from the overhead, is second shot. Yeah, so it looks like uh, decent potential here for a deuce. There's a good amount of separation here. So um, if you hit and maybe just flop a little bit to uh, the left side, uh, I guess from the house perspective or the right side, if you're from the thrower's perspective, then uh, have some good separation there. Brushes are on this one right away. Wanted to roll to the open side a little bit. Just going to hit that and stay right on the nose, though. Still sits two. I'll be Ackland asking for the hit here and roll towards the uh, second shot stone. Uh, it looked like she was asking for a pretty big roll here. Um, and this one's hanging out there a bit. Going to hit and actually roll a little bit more to the open side. Yunja and Kim would be happy to just continue to exchange hits out here and she can carry that through for the end, might have an opportunity for a, a deuce here. As you said, a fairly risk-free deuce. Yeah, a uh, good amount of separation. You know, the and if we kind of think back on how the sentence played out, it's that, that, that kind of tick shot made it very important, just that, that good weight selection, and you're able to kind of keep rocks in play here. They're able to make the hit. Stay right there, keep the separation. Abby Acklin again looking for the big rollover towards the second shot. Makes the hit but stays right there. Are you kind of for the team Acklin? Are, are they throwing, do you feel like they're throwing uh, maybe just a little bit too much weight to get these rolls here? Or? Well, no, I'm not going to question their weight if that's the weight they want to throw. It is a big roll that they're looking for, and she certainly has the ice tight, but that might be part of the issue right there. You see it a lot, especially uh, early in the year. A thrower looks at a broom that's inside the edge of the rock like that, and, and you tend to make sure that you're not narrow. Yeah. Oh, and then does this one? It's... Sneaky little roll, but I don't think it's second shot. No, yeah, it's uh, it's on, but not second. So the problem for Abby Ackland is it's it's too dangerous to make a play on that stone. Even if you did make it, you'd have to be out of the rings. Yeah. Uh, couple choices here and yet it's a short run for the Koreans so you you need to make sure you uh uh thinking about drawing it behind uh looks like the I'm not sure who's the thrower here uh, I'll have to yeah I haven't figured that one out yet I've I figured out she's left-handed so I believe actually oh I think I know who this is <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Wood, uh, uh, Kelly Schaefer. Ah. Uh, and she actually lives in Swift Current now. Former, formerly of Scotland. Uh, 
think I've got the last name right. No, uh, maybe it's to curl a little bit. Makes the hit, but loses the shooter. Well, decision time now for the Koreans. You could play the little angle slash on the red. Try to get both of them into the rings, but you would leave your two stones probably grouped for an opportunity at a double. Yeah. Um, but yeah, what's what's the other option, right? You're drawing behind the, uh, the, the other guard on the other side of the house, yeah? For now, yeah. I mean, this... The, the only other school of thought is if you save this shot for your last one, and, and that's not to say that you'll get a chance to play it then, if you make it on the last one, there's no opportunity for a double. Make it Six or two, if they make the double, you were prepared to blank this end when it started anyway. See, this kind of inside out uh, run and roll to the center here. Should be pretty close. Makes the hit, stuffs the first one, and does get a bit of a roll to the center line. Yep. We'll leave the opportunity for the double. Yeah, and I think that's probably the best outcome there, right? Your only other way to do is throw more weight there, but then you risk losing the, uh, the target rock, yeah? Yeah, one or the other. I mean, you had to dead stuff it anyway, so that's the first objective. Is this the double or just the hit and roll here? I, the, the I turn think... kind of. Yeah, I did with that broom. I thought she was playing the other turn, but yeah. makes the hit. I, I think she was playing the double with that big weight, but uh, maybe expecting the big weight to, to run there maybe a little better a, than it did for her. So for Team Kim here, uh, obviously you have to get rid of this rock here, but uh, how big are they wanting to roll ideally, or are they, are they calling for? You know, even if you just roll to the uh, other side of the center line, it's probably too flat for a double after that. You don't want to roll too close to the corner guard, because then Abby Ackland tries to roll behind the corner and take your end away that way. Yeah. Split center might be enough. Rushers yet. Hmm. Makes the hit, sits right there, actually makes for a fairly flat or a fairly uh, steep double. Yeah. Looked like they were trying to brush it into the rock a little bit towards the end there, so don't know if they, they were worried they were going to hit it too thin, but they definitely got plenty of the rock. that I do have the last name. It is it is Schaefer, Kelly Schaefer. Used to play with, uh, I believe it was Muirhead, out of Scotland, and moved to Swift Current a number of years ago. So you got a, a ready-built sub at these <laughs> events, a women's event in Swift Current. You know, it's great to hear stories about, you know, curlers like this, right? Because, um, I, you know, I, I, it's... it's I'm gonna guess Kate, uh, Kelly's not on a uh, a normal competitive team here. Uh, I don't believe so. She, I, and I don't know Kelly very well. I do believe she's been working towards her Canadian citizenship. She was uh, she was in Swift Current for World Championships, as as I understand the story, and uh, uh, stayed after it was over, or 
and I think she went back to Scotland and came back, but it became home after that. Uh, final rock for Team Akron here. One more pass at the double and just over the top of that stone. Which turn do you want to go? Kim just that was all the discussion was about where do we want to throw this draw what spot do we know trailing by two already sitting one a chance to grab any paint and tie the game up I don't know you, about you, but I always feel like this is one of the harder shots, the uh, open draw to paint. <laughs> I, uh, I actually, I think I missed two of these last weekend uh, when I was out of spiel. I don't think I can say that on the air. <laughs> uh, uh, in fairness to myself, I did end up winning the event, so <laughs> it didn't hurt me too much. But definitely, uh, we'll be honest about my shortcomings there. Nicely made. No shortcomings here. Brings that into the top of the eight foot. Picks up Reduce. We're all tied up after three ends of play. It'll be Abby Ackland with Last Rock when we come back. SASTAL Be Kind Online wants to stop cyberbullying. Want in on the action? We award up to $1,000 for youth initiatives that help spread kindness and prevent bullying. What great idea do you have to help stop bullying? SASTEL can help. Go to BeKindOnline.com and apply for a grant today. Together, we can make a difference. Imagine being able to stream every curling game from every sheet from any event, be it your Wednesday league game, font spiel, or corporate event. Curling Stadium offers an all-inclusive streaming solution featuring high-quality cameras, ease of use, great reliability, and minimal installation. Offering your sponsors customizable ad space on your streamed curling games and being able to sell video packages to your corporate events for increased revenue. With Curling Stadium, you can stream to any device, be it your mobile phone, tablet, or computer. Push the feed to your desired platform, be it Facebook, YouTube, or any other social media. Curling Stadium is simply the way forward. Where it's commonplace in other sports to televise every game, we want to do the same. Curling is a global sport, and it's time it gets the coverage it needs. Make your curling club the next Curling Stadium. John Joyce, Mark No, with you here live from the RBC Dominion Secured Western Showdown. Swift Current, the event qualifier action for you here Saturday afternoon. The C event qualifiers will be tonight as well. Abby Ackland, Yunjin Kim all tied at two after three ends of play, fourth end just underway. You see the center guard thrown on the first one, just come to rest. And looks like Abby Ackland looking for the come around on that. So we figured out it's Kelly Schaefer playing third stones, and if we've got them in the right order in our headshots, that should make this uh, Sarah Oliver throwing the lead stones. But my headshot shows her as a blonde. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, if anyone uh, out there that is familiar with this team, if you uh, want to give us a heads up on the, uh, the lineup this weekend, I know uh, with these events... We do see uh, a little bit of mixing of orders and, and super subs uh, coming in. These teams, when they play this kind of schedule, it's not hard. It's not easy to get all four players to all the events. So we've got uh, Sarah Oliver listed as lead and Megan Walter listed as second, but I don't have a, a headshot for her.
Yeah, Sean, do you think we'll see more of these uh, kind of, you know, five team or five person teams being more common? Well, we have seen it uh, seem to be growing a little bit in the last few years. Certainly, I think this year it was to be expected anyway, because this is it's right after the Olympic cycle. It's hard to find four players to commit to the type of schedule that you want to play for your sponsors and everything else when this really isn't part of the uh, qualification process directly into the next Olympic trials. So gives you a chance to, to play with a little bit larger roster, not have to commit to as many weekends, and yet your team's still there every weekend. Yep, that's true. This is shaping up to be a pretty interesting end, you know. I, I always, I'm always a big fan of having rocks in play. Not a big fan of blanks myself. Uh, although I can appreciate the skill it takes to get to to make some situations blank here, but always like seeing rocks in play. bit of a pocket formed in the yellow so a chance if you can get to the inside of the one that's open can maybe move both of them this one ought to be pretty close here gets the open one just nudges the uh, shot stone doesn't move it very far yeah. you gotta like the setup here for for team uh team kim so far um and it looks like they're not going to open up the center here, but just go ahead. Yeah, and it's, I was thinking the same thing. I'm surprised. This is the sixth stone of the end. She could peel the guard right now. Still, she's got shot rock. If you can get to the inside of this stone, maybe nudge it back a little bit to take away the angle onto your own shot stone. It's not a bad setup for her yet. A little bit of cat and mouse going on here as they try to position good angles in the in the rings before anybody does anything with the guard. Wanted to get to the inside of that. Taps it back, but it's right onto the corner of the yellow stone. Yeah, that's... Uh, that's not what they had in mind. Yeah, now, that yellow is accessible a couple different ways now here. Um, yeah, if you ever get to the you inside of this yellow here, you can you can spill out both yellows, can't you? Yeah. Looks like you can just see all of it, though. So it might be tough to get to the inside with any kind of weight. And when you're looking at moving three stones, you can need That's a little true. bit of weight. She doesn't have to play that yet, though. She could come around the other side, play the that same kind of a tap right onto the yellow and... If she moves that yellow a little bit, she actually might leave it a little more dead in behind the first red. Leave it surrounded. That might force Abby Ackland to go peel the guard because uh, Yunjin Kim has a chance to have that shot rock surrounded and, and angles for her favor in both sides. And by the cleaning, it looks like they are going to play something on this uh, intern side. Giving everybody a quick peek in at some of the other scoreboards. The 2B qualifiers on here this afternoon. The other four games all in the C event. And uh, the winners of the C event games and the losers of the B qualifiers will be back on the ice tonight in an attempt to grab the last couple of spots. Or is it two? I should double check that. Is it two Bs and... Uh, yeah, four I'm, C's or it could be three and three. I haven't looked at the draw. Be, I, I think it's two here. Yeah, I am. Let me take a look. I've got. I'm just gonna pop on over to curling zone, click on standings, and so it looks like. So for the eight qualifiers, we've already got Team Grandy and uh, Team Gim qualifying out of there, and under the B, it looks like uh, two qualifiers here as well. Opting to play a little bit more weight at that than I thought. They make uh, the tap and actually move that Yellowstone far enough back that 
It looks to be Korea sitting three right now. Yeah, so two A qualifiers, two B qualifiers, and the last four spots will come out of this C. And we will have all of that action for you right here on uh, Sastel Curling Stadium. And one game for draw available on CBC Gem as well. We hope people watching there have been enjoying the coverage. Schaefer's made her way down to take a look at uh, things in the house. I think it's a discussion of what they, how much weight they want to play. Or they've decided not to play the run at all. They're maybe trying to get at it from the other side. Um, Boy, she can't see very much of this. Yeah, I, but I, I suppose if the one on the center line is on top, this is... And they think they can maybe possibly roll towards the side there. But I thought that was pretty flat, so... We'll see the result here. Well, and if you don't make it, I guess you clip the guard and not the end of the world for you either. She got the triple. Wow. What Boy, shot. she did. I don't know who saw that. Uh, Kelly Shaver came down and they discussed it and uh, made it like it was easy. Yeah. And it wasn't. Jeez, yeah. That's I, a great shot. I thought the one on the wing, I thought that was too flat for the triple there. But shows you what I know. I'll play it. That was a tough shot, and it swings things around in this end in a hurry. Kim Jin Kim goes from sitting three to now facing three. And without last rock. Looking for the come around. Uh, they do have the backing here, so it's just important to get it buried here. It does bounce off the they backing. Have backing, but I wasn't sure they'd be shot rock if they got to it. Definitely not shot. Did stay for second. that deep and, and having rubbed off a little bit room to play this with a uh, heavy draw maybe almost half weight and try to get to the stone that was just thrown could sit four after this by the front one Plenty of room now there. starting to curl probably would have liked to roll a little farther than that but uh, does sit for fourth right now now I think it's high enough where there is a hit and roll to sit shot rock. Probably good. It looks like they're looking for a straight draw. I guess if you were prepared to draw on the last one, you may as well be prepared to draw again. Yeah. I suppose if just like the last one, if you were just a hair heavy then you always get that little tap and tap and roll there. Certainly some risk in going at it this way for the Koreans. You uh, you always run the risk playing the end like this that it could be a very big score against you, but you only need one really good draw to perhaps take the whole end away from Abby Apple. Yeah, that's pretty good effort there. 
going to be tough to get that out. You can maybe move it far enough to sit too. Yeah, I suppose you're okay if this, this ticks the guard over, right? Yeah, feeling the guard uh, on purpose wouldn't even necessarily be a bad shot here. Roger would pick this one up right away. Now they backed away, so she's by the guard. Now wants to stay a little bit on the high side so she doesn't put it onto her own. Does. She was always going to jam onto that one. Yeah. She just didn't want to touch the one at the back of the forefoot. So I think with where her shooter ended up, sitting three right now. That uh, overhead does seem to confirm that. Yunja and Kim, you'd love to be able to get into the pocket of the two yellows, but how do you get there? Yeah. Yeah, that's... <clears throat> it, there's not room on the out turn with the guard where it is, and you'd have to go really wide on the in turn. Ooh, I think they are going to try to, yeah, they're going to try to get there with the, uh, with the uh, in turn there. they got to play the in turn, yeah. It's not necessarily the shot you'd love to be playing, but uh, there's too many yellows hanging around, and you have to put this one in a spot where she can't just play to pick it out. The only place to do that is to put it in front of the yellows. First, just skips rocks here. Made a nice draw with her final one in the third to pick up the extra point. Needs a good freeze here to try to take an end away from Abby Ackland. Facing three, looking for the freeze, and the brushes jump this one right away. Not just an issue of the weight here, but this is starting to curl. ended up okay. She didn't get right down to the stone. Yeah. Uh, if your team... Abby Ackland could try to pick it, but it, it's tough to not jam it on the red stone and, and leave it perhaps for shot rock. Yeah. She's going to have to lose her shooter to do that. So do you just kind of throw big wave at this in hopes that if it does jam, you, you may get to spin out here? Or? I'm not sure which one she's trying to jam it off of. She might be trying to jam it off of the yellow and just make sure that it you play the red and across the top of the yellow and have it spin all the way out the side. You'll, you'll lose the shooter. Probably be sitting two now unless it catches the red going across. You, you might be trying to kill three stones here, two reds and a yellow, to sit three, bring that one at the top of the eight foot back in. That might be easier than trying to pick it. run this red across the top of the yellow it'll be spinning when it hits the other red stone and, and you hope it spins all the way across and out of play she won't be light big weight here abby Ackland looking to move some things around in that forefoot area wow and actually makes the hit jams it off the yellow catches the red and did it spin far enough though look yeah it spun up at the end there i think it's she was Cam's rock. I I think so too. I think the red stayed for shot. She hit it very close to what she was looking for, what I was talking about. You wanted to spin it all the way across, but uh, it didn't spin that hard. A little too full onto the second redstone. Still, Kim's in some trouble. Second, third, and fourth belonging to Ackland. If you just made a play on Second shot rock, you could leave a cross house double for three. Yeah, although the one, yeah, they would have to run it though. There's the, 
you could hit the could hit the back one right on the nose. Yeah, I think it's just half. Sit two one. and there'd be no double, but, but it's not the easiest hit though. Oh gosh, yeah. <laughs> it, you can't really make a it's it's tough to make a play on it. It's there to play it from the out turn side, but the center guard's in your eye in your uh, eye line. They're talking about hitting what I think is shot stone. Shot in second or very close, or pardon me, second shot stone and, and rolling towards the guards. Could try to hit it just a hair high, make the double and, and sit two that way, but you don't have very far to roll. ever make the double and sit two I don't think she tries the cross house double it's not worth the risk when it's only for two points you'd like to make sure you score here final rock for team Kimmison nothing out of the brushers yet just cleaning Makes the hit, drives it by the stone at the back. I'm take a quick look around the outside because if you had the chance to simply draw for two, you probably would, but I think it's still Kim sitting shot rock, so decision time. Do you, do you make a play at shot? And it'd be tough to get to the inside of that and, and get two that way, or do you play the double? Which would be for three. Yep, looks like they are lining up this double here. Yeah, I think, you know, they did look at the shot. If, if you could get to the inside of that shot stone, they might have played just for two. But the problem that you have when... Uh, when you have to come around that stone at the top of the eight foot and get to the inside, anything on the outside, she rolls too far, she's still only getting one point. So you may as well take the chance for three here. Problem is the rock you're hitting first is actually third shot. You've got to make the double to score. Final stone, Abby Ackland. Chance for a, a double to pick up a big three points here. Brusher's picking it up. Makes the hit, comes across, catches the second stone. All the way out the back, wow. and the shooter hangs on in the 12 foot. It's going to be three points on the board for Abby Ackland. They left it for her. She made it. She'll take a 5 to 2 lead into the fifth end. We asked Saskatchewan what they know about 5G. Uh, more speed, more innovation. It's going to make our lives a whole heck of a lot easier. This is what 5G looks like. Better, faster. Sounds like one more G. Sounds pretty good. I don't know what it means. All you really need to know is the future of 5G is here and will continue improving through investments in network technology. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the 2022 Western Showdown, the largest international women's curling event in Canada this season. We're so glad you've decided to join us to see some of the top female curlers in the world participate in this event. My name is Jim Grundy. I'm the branch director of RBC Dominion Securities here in Swift Current. Our branch is not only a huge fan and support of curling in our community, we're so proud to be supporting the Western Showdown for its inaugural year. RBC is committed to working with our community partners to promote and celebrate vibrancy in sport in the communities in which we live. Thank you to everyone from the Western Showdown team for putting together this amazing event. On behalf of RBC, enjoy the tournament. Big shot from Abby Ackland to close out that fourth end. She picks up three points. Now with a 5-2 to two lead over the Koreans as we begin uh, the fifth end. 
Yeah. <clears throat> Interesting how that end played out. You know, if the uh, other Kim Rock was uh, a little bit more open, you probably would have seen Abby make a play on that one instead for two. The end was already started as we came back here. So I, the one thing I'm a little surprised about is that we even see a center guard. I don't know what they called for it there or it just came up a little bit short. But regardless, we get the center guard. Kim throws up the corner and now the come around attempt. by the guard Russian looking to try to get a little extra well here get a piece of that in behind cover so the question is do you, uh, you come down to it you tap it or do you go under your corner here I don't think you're tapping it when you're down three, but it, other than that, it's preference. We did see them play a, a shot similar to this, attempt shot similar to this in uh, end number three and ticked the guard on the way by. So they got another rock into the rings that way. Does opt for the tap and gets it all the way through the back. You know, we can even go back to the second end, and and uh, I can remember them hitting the, the open stone on the on the lead's first stone. So, it does seem to be a bit of a tendency for the Koreans. They want to deal with that center line area as soon as they can, and then try to use the corner once the middle is open for them. Sweeper's indicating this one is a little up, having to get on the uh, sweep side to make it curl. And it does roll the further hit. out, yeah. And there, what we were just talking about, she's dealt with the middle now, going to try to use that corner guard. That might just be a comfort level for this Korean team. They just want to deal with the middle first. You'd see a lot of uh, Canadian teams wouldn't have made any kind of hit on that that stone down three. It's got to go to get this in the rings here. Come up a little bit short. Second card's not bad for you when you're trying to uh, generate some offense, but it does give Abby Aquin a chance to use her center guard and try to keep the play away from those two corners. Again, nice weight, but not able to get that buried. Just fully exposed.
Jim asking for the hit. Roll into an interest, interesting spot there. Got a nice roll out of it, uh, corner in behind the yellow stones. It is Kim sitting shot rock. Ackland can see most of it, but a little danger here. She could, uh, she overcurls on this, takes her own. And if she hits it a little thin, rolls too far, you'll see uh, Yunjin Kim try to use those corner guards. right back into that same area. It's Ackland sitting two. Kim's first thought is, can we see enough of that to hit and roll in behind cover for Shot Rock? It can't look good from the hacks as we're looking at it. Uh, she's got maybe just all. So playing uh, maybe tap back, back eight foot weight. More important to get shot here than it is to kill that stone. Yeah, absolutely. And if you get it, just you know the uh, Ackland Rock behind T, it's it's helpful for you later in the end, possibly. Does need to finish here, so sweeper's trying to carve it in there. It is starting to move. It's to be tight to that to that guard if she wanted to get in behind cover at all it's going to tap it uh, all the way through but shooter stays open i wonder if that wasn't just a little bit more weight than they were looking for yeah i mean with the uh yellow rock going all the way through the house you gotta think that was maybe more than they needed but again could be just a preference thing well uh, i just looking at where Kim tapped, I think she was looking for less weight. And of course, if you broom for back eight foot and she's thrown back line, it's, it's not going to get that last little bit of finish that you were hoping for. Certainly understand her looking for the roll. It's not looking like a blank end here. So you'd like to score two. With that rock hitting just a little bit on the outside, the opportunity there for Kelly Schaefer. And this one needs to curl as well. She'll make the hit roll a little bit further away from that guard. Well, do you like the double or do you like the hit and roll? And then that uh, seems to be what she's asked. The yeah, I mean, I, I, I think them both. I think you got to play the uh, play the double here, right? Uh, brings the blank into play. If uh, the team Ackland will hit the. If you if you make the double and stay, you hope for if Acklin hits and rolls out, then you're going behind the corner anyways, right? I'm gonna play devil's advocate for you. Does keeping the blank yeah. in play really do you any good when you're three down and there'll only be three ends left? That's true, yeah. <laughs> or do you play hard for the deuce? I think she's even looking at at uh, the indication was to hit and play the big roll all the way across behind the corners. Yeah. And this might be a straight draw. Yeah, it looks like ice for straight draw here. Now, do you like drawing to just behind the the center or not not under your corner there? I, I think the concern would be is if you try to draw around the corners and make it too good, Abby Ackland's just going to come around the center and take your end away from you. Yeah. Again, this has got lots of room by the guard, but draw weight should uh, finish. Brings it right into the top corner of the button. The 
might be a little deeper than they would have liked. Yeah, I was going to ask. Kelly That's Sha maybe just a, maybe a foot deep. Kelly Schaefer just, you just freeze onto the face of it, and uh, I like that call. If you freeze, she shrunk the scoring area. Oh, it looks like they're lining up this run, though. Abby looking at the run. That's not bad either. Even if you miss it, you open it up, and uh, you're three up here. Two's not the end of the world. Yep. You'd hate to play something delicate here and, and perhaps bring three into play. We've also seen she has no problem throwing the big weights, so probably likes these kinds of shots. Yeah, I'll definitely say as a as a tucker myself, um, uh, I'm always playing the hit or the run if I if I get a chance for it. Versus skips rocks here. Pretty close. Looking for the run back. Makes it. Makes the stone in the rings go away. Loses the run back stone as well. Leaves Kim with the same choice she had before the last one. Kind of looks like they might be a little bit more uh, tempted to play the double right now. Yeah. And I think with that broom placement, that's what they've opted for. Yeah, and I guess at this point here, right, your 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 best case is like you you draw in the center, you hope they. Hope they missed the run back that they just threw, and so maybe just try to get out of this with a blank. I get at this point. Yeah, it does shorten the game on you, but uh, you hate to get forced. Kim looking for the double here with her first. Makes the hit, catches the second one, and does keep the shooter right there. Abby Ackland now will try to make the hit, and uh, she could still put some pressure on if she could roll behind cover. Stone for Ackland here in the fifth end. He's got a three-point lead. Looking to hit and roll behind cover and perhaps to make the uh, blank at least difficult for Yun Jin Kim. Makes the hit, gets a bit of a roll, but does stay out in the open. So Yun Jin Kim will have the opportunity to blank here. And in number five, try to keep that last rock advantage into the sixth, trailing by three. Made the double in this same area on her first one, so she's got a pretty good idea what it's going to do. Rusher's picking this one up a little bit. Going early. hard for line, Just yeah. cleaning. That's well done. Makes the hit, makes it look easy. Puts the zeros on the board here in end number five, and Ackland will continue to lead five to two when we come back for the sixth.
Imagine being able to stream every curling game from every sheet from any event, be it your Wednesday league game, bond spiel, or corporate event. Curling Stadium offers an all-inclusive streaming solution featuring high-quality cameras, ease of use, great reliability, and minimal installation. Offering your sponsors customizable ad space on your streamed curling games and being able to sell video packages to your corporate events for increased revenue. With Curling Stadium, you can stream to any device, be it your mobile phone, tablet or computer. Push the feed to your desired platform, be it Facebook, YouTube or any other social media. Curling Stadium is simply the way forward. Where it's commonplace in other sports to televise every game, we want to do the same. Curling is a global sport and it's time it gets the coverage it needs. Make your curling club the next Curling Stadium. Sean Joyce, Mark No, with you here from the RBC Dominion Security Classic on CBC Gem and Sastel Curling Stadium. B event qualifier, Abby Ackland, has had things going her way so far. She's got a 5-2 to two lead as we get, begin play here in the sixth inning and calls for that first stone into the rings. And this mark, I think, is the first time, to my recollection, that we can see uh, the Kim team ignore a center stone to start the end. They're looking for the corner corner guard here. Yeah, they're going to have to generate some offense here pretty quick. You know, the three-point, big difference between a three-point and a two-point lead here. You know, you can't, you can't go um, deuce force. Uh, I guess you can. Yeah, you, deuce force, deuce, deuce force, get you deuce, extra end. Get you to the extra end, and then you're gonna have to steal. So, a little bit harder to do, right? Because you're gonna have to get a force and a steal out of there. But uh, this team, Kim, is very capable. I got a chance to watch their game earlier today, and they they did get a big uh, four ender uh, earlier, uh, thanks to a nice, uh, pretty long uh, run back. So, uh, team very capable, and we'll see what they're doing. But at the same time, this uh, Ackland team has been. Pretty good with their hits, so be a good challenge. Well, we were just talking about it last end. The, the Korean team seems to have had a preference through most of this game to take care of the opening up the middle first and then play the corners. So forcing them to scoreboard, forcing them to, to do this now has taken them a little bit outside their comfort zone. They've got to ignore some stones in the middle, try to set something up on the corner. And yeah, I'm actually kind of honestly surprised they're not playing a tick here. So I have seen them play these, this tick and roll to a couple corners uh, a couple times now. But looks like Nothing they're wrong with this strategy, though. This is something, yeah, this is what you'd see more traditionally from, from some of the Canadian teams, but uh, it has not been the style that this Korean team has played so far today. Nice weight on the draw, but it stays out in the open. sitting shot rock right now in the top of the this is second shot they're making a play on still just the fifth stone of the end so they have to be careful not to over curl and clip the guard Makes the hit, but the shooter will roll all the way across and out of play. So it continues to be Ackland sitting one, top of the eight foot. Two guards, one on the center line, one on the corner, and then Yunjin Kim going to try to use her corner guard one more time. appears to be all right for this just a matter of getting the curl right they've got plenty sweeping. of room by the guard here sweeping for curl early I don't mind if this one deep they weren't gonna get shot rock if they buried it anyway 
whole point here is to try to get a, a rock in a spot where Abby Ackman can't get to it. We'll figure out how to make it shot rock later. Looks like to be a little bit of discussion. Do you like to go ahead and chasing that rock or peeling the, uh, the guard at this point? If she can see half, you may as well chase, but now it, you know the situation has changed versus her last one. This is the seventh stone of the end. So you can play this a little bit tight. If you clip the guard and peel it, so be it. You just don't want to go by on the broom side. Oh, well, urgency from the sweepers here. It does appear to clear the guard, yep. Makes the hit, rolls to the back of the eight foot, but kind of in behind that center area. And that actually could be a stone that works to the advantage of the Koreans. You may see them switch from trying to come around the corner to going around the middle now. A rock at the back is one that even if you only get half buried here, it, it's something that could be jammed on. Yeah, so if you're if you're throwing this and it looks like she's tapping uh, basically top four on the uh, outturn side there to kind of maybe set up that jam. have not touched this one yet starting to curl now we did see plenty of curl here two ends ago just by the front one and that's why they didn't want to lay a brush to it a little bit deep it does stay for second shot however Kelly Schaefer now on the intern for the left-hander, trying to come around. Not looking to come to the back ones, wants to keep this up high, but uh, wanted to get by her own stone at the top of the eight foot, not going to. Sits on the corner of it. Probably sitting two right now. Now this could be an opportunity for the Koreans to make a play on those two at the, the front. Whether she tries to kill them or just move them around, that's for her to decide. But uh, she was going to have to deal with those that stone, that shot stone at the top of the foot at some point, and this might be her best chance. Yeah, I agree. I think it's their best chance. So just kind of hitting it, maybe just a hair on the high side and just kind of roll out to the wings here for, for the shooter. And... You can even play this with quieter weight. You don't really have to kill the yellows. You just want to get them out from behind the guard. And hitting it on the nose wouldn't be the end of the world. You'd leave your shooter in a pretty good spot. Yeah, I think that's the most important thing is to keep your shooter around here. By the front one. Does get to the nose. Kills the one, leaves the other at the T-line. Able to move that Yellowstone far enough? Or... I believe that uh, stone that rolled over might still be shot rock, but that red stone at the top of the 12 is actually only fourth, but it's the stone that's probably in the best position for uh, the Korean team right now. And Abby Ackland looking for the double in the reds, is she? Yeah, no, I think that are. Yeah, even if they get rid of both those rocks in the back, right, they're, they're not helping them at this point. Only thing you'd worry about is hitting this one a little bit thin and jamming it onto the yellow. It's going to overcurl, not going to touch the second stone at the back at all. Yeah, that could have been disastrous if they took the uh, took the guard, but did get it by. Still, now it's uh, K 
Kim sitting second shot. Shot rock is open. They're going to play the draw for now. Tell you what, a good draw here, and uh, three's not out of the question. Yeah. Yeah, hit a draw, and then you think we'll see Aquin make a, make a run that, that in the center? Rock at the back is going to be a difficult one to get out if you make this good draw, yeah. Oh, thanks to Tyler in the chat here, just giving some clarification. So uh, we've got uh, Mackenzie, um, Mackenzie Elias uh, playing lead, uh, second Sarah Oliver. That's showing as the lead on curling zone. And then third, okay. yeah, uh, Kelly Schaefer, and then skipped by uh, Megan Walter. Okay, so that's not even happy. Yeah. And, and Megan is the one we don't have a... Don't have a, a headshot, headshot of. Out. Yeah, thanks for that, Tyler. <laughs> that draw comes a little bit deep. It does sit for shot rock. But it gives uh, Megan Walter a chance to come down and sit on top of it, take the uh, end away. thing I'm looking at and they didn't look at it if she comes all the way down to that is there a double off the yellow on the side yeah I think it three yeah I think that's your uh, your best bet yeah I it, it hard to say until it comes to rest what well, it'll be a flat double but it might be there yeah. if she's all the way to it it'll be interesting to see if they if, if it's there do they like to throw it now do they kind of save it to their last one uh, this one's got some curling to do. The weight's pretty good there, but is it by? No, it's still uh, the Korean sitting shot rock. So now a chance to make a draw. They can get that one to the top of the four, but take the line they just threw, put it uh, top four. You're still looking at possibly three. Yeah. Interesting that Megan's didn't curl. Uh, she wasn't that heavy for what they were playing. They were trying to come down to it. She's only maybe a foot strong and, and totally missed the line. Yeah, it looked like it was, I, I don't know if it was wide out of hand or just kind of floating on her, but yeah, even by the hog line, it looked like there was a lot of space there. Weight was reasonably close to what they were playing. Regardless, it's a chance here for Yunjin Kim to make a come around, perhaps sit to and, and uh, set up for a chance to tie this game here in the sixth. This one appears to be sliding pretty good here. They're waiting on it to curl, starting to go now. Still got plenty of room by the guard. You can switch here. Or needed for weight, I guess, I suppose, yeah. Comes to rest. Top eight foot it is. Uh, uh, shot rock. I'm a little surprised they didn't try to finish that a little harder. Yeah, that's what I was kind of uh, <laughs> almost uh, imploring I, them I'll to do. I'll have to admit, yeah. my, my screen's a little choppy, but I, I thought they were worried it was deep, and it... It stopped in plenty of time. Yeah. Hmm. Now, it, it might be that they didn't want to come a foot deeper and have uh, Megan freeze to it and take the back one away. She could just pick that out, concede two. They're looking at the intern draw as well. Now, that might be the, the shot to take everything away, but yeah. it's not without some risk. Yeah, I suppose this is, yeah, maybe purposely done right because at least at least they're they're talking about it right it, it yeah it may well have been that they didn't want to be any deeper than that they yeah if she picks it out you're still gonna have a shot at two if you come a foot deeper and she freezes to it you've got one in your pocket but a very hard shot to get to Yeah, 
so we'll see what the uh are they wondering if they can see enough the discussion is can they see enough to play the red onto the red at the back and spin it enough oh yeah so that uh <clears throat> they would be sitting shot i mean i think it's there right but then Fiera is flirting with the guard right yeah that's the thing it it there's not really anything you could jam on that's going to hurt you but uh if you ever click the guard yeah. i'm you know with the scoreboard you know i i think the uh the intern draw makes the most sense here but I, I, I would argue that with the scoreboard, picking it out probably makes Oh, yeah, sense. Uh, that's, yeah, actually, yeah, I, I do like that, uh, that you mentioned it, yeah. And I expect that's, you know, it's it's a plan B. You throw the hit and, and try to sweep for the for the double. It's a tough double anyway, because even if you jam it, it's still got to, you're counting on it spinning, and granted, it's not dead lined up on that the red, it's behind it, so it probably spins a bit, but... The key is to make sure you get the top one out for sure. For sure, yeah. Final rock for Team Acklin. Oh, set that release a little bit. Oh, the hand goes up. That's this not is a good still side. floating out. Sweeping for whatever curl they can get. She's going to go right oh, by everything. And Back one out. Took the other red with it, though, as well. So yeah. it's, it's just going to be a chance... Same draw for three, basically. Three, but out of nowhere. Yeah, you could just see that, and she knew she had done it as well. She threw her hand up right away, like you said. She set that release just a bit, and in that spot, it would not come back. Yeah, that spot, that way. And Kim with a nice draw on her first one. Here with her final stone chance to score three. They did look at it. It's a little bit hard to tell from the camera angle, but I think if she comes right to the face of the one she just threw on her first one, she would be third shot. Yeah. So I likely see... Does this look like the same I see, or maybe a touch more? Might be a touch more. She's certainly not worried about trying to bury this one, so... Yep. Take a little bit more ice, leave it up to the brushers. Last rock for Team Kim here, looking to get a uh, full, full eight foot here. Trailing by three, she's got two right now. Sweep. Needs a full eight foot. Sweepers. Sweepers have backed away. This is, should be a little scary, but should be okay. Oh, I changed it a little bit. Kelly Schaefer meets it at the T-line and escorts it a little too far at the back. So it's just going to be the two for Yunjun Kim. She closes the score within 5-4, but it'll be Team Ackland with Last Rock in the seventh. Be Kind Online wants to stop cyberbullying. Want in on the action? We award up to $1,000 for youth initiatives that help spread kindness and prevent bullying. What great idea do you have to help stop bullying? SASTEL can help. Go to BeKindOnline.com and apply for a grant today. Together, we can make a difference. Seventh end just about to begin here in this B qualifier. The winner will advance to the championship playoffs tomorrow morning. The loser will get another chance tonight. Team Ackland in the strongest position right now. They've got a one point lead in Last Rock as we begin play here in the seventh end. Yunjin Kim just missed a glorious opportunity to tie things up. And yeah. It looks like with the placement of this guard, they're going to perhaps look for two center guards to send? Yeah. I mean, 
would have, of course, they would have liked him to get in that three there, but uh, even if they get a force here, um, got a chance for two in the last. So, but yeah, I'd like to see, could be see double centers here. I think Team Kim would like to see uh, anything but a blank end, and of course, Team Ackland, they're thinking blank or deuce. Yeah, so. And you know, and and the Kim team has watched this whole game. They know that uh, they know as well. This Ackland team can hit well. You're going to have to put some rocks in play if you want to make sure they can't blank. This probably helps the decision a little bit. That rock slides to the back forward. They definitely wanted to keep that in front of the T line. So now you can afford to ignore that. Throw the long guard. Uh, for this guard here, are we wanting to kind of stagger off the uh, the first guard here, or does it need to be dead center line? What, what's your take on this one? If, if it's me throwing it against the way that this Ackland team has been hitting so far, I want to keep the two guards dead in line. Okay. I think with any angle at all, they're going to try the double peel, and they're, they've been hitting so well. Can't play the double peel yet, of course, but they're going to start peeling... Uh, you have to expect they're going to peel on the sixth stone no matter what the situation in the house looks like. Uh, any reason for Team Ackland to play a tick shot here instead of just going in? Or You know, when you've got uh, your skip is listed as your second oh, and sure. the lead <laughs> is a sub, I don't think you're playing the tick shot. You just They're not familiar with each other enough. I, likely, it's we don't know how many chances they've had to play together, but this appears to be a bit of a makeshift lineup for the weekend. And although some of the players on tour make that uh, tick shot look like it's pretty easy, it's not, and it is a team shot. So when you're not used to playing with Absolutely. each other, it's maybe not the way to go. Kim's got things going her way now. The first draw attempt from the Aqua team went deep, and that one, just biting the 12 foot, actually works as a third guard. So there's room here. Just got to get, get the right weight here. It's hard to switch here to bury it. Oh, I'm actually having to go for weight. It's going to come up a little bit short of the rings. Wow, and she's not peeling this. I guess, yeah, I guess you can kind of go all out on the offense here to try to score three. Yeah, if you make this, it's really good. If you, if you hang it out there a little ways, then it's and you're wondering why you didn't peel the guard. I'm, I'm going to be wondering that no matter what. <laughs> okay. And this. All right. Race to the forefoot. Who's going to get there first? Once again, leaves that uh, just in the 12 foot. And again, it works as a guard. We are having to take further and further ice here. Oh gosh, I wonder if you just don't go back to the intern side because you, you've got that little bit of backing there. Rush is working this one early. Maybe, maybe a bit of a flat spot. Well, they were on that early and switched early as well too, so I think just light out of her hand. Now it's getting to the point for Abby App and you could hit a stone like this on the nose. It's getting hard for Kim to even get into the forefoot area. Oh.
this one over curling on them. Does over curl's gonna clip her own stone. Ooh. Removes it from play, loses the shooter. looking at uh, coming in between the two red stones or off of the one that was just thrown yeah i mean i think i mean it's it's, it's hard to you know play off call it you know where, where it's off of it but yeah i think that's that's really good if they can get that right and just really roll under the the mess in the center here it does look like a tight port from the hack in but From the curler we've seen, it's probably there to, to make it as a straight draw, too. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think it's just a matter of getting it, uh, getting the right weight here. And then not, it, it seems if they're sweeping early, it's, it's holding on that outside line here. And you see this again, they're, they jump it pretty early, but this one does seem to be a little bit inside of maybe the previous one. So this one should finish. And going off and on a little bit. Definitely got nicer line, but uh, still going to have to come off of her own now. Is it going to have enough weight to get in for shot? They didn't really get very far past their own. Probably left a double. It's another one where, again, you saw the brushers wanting to pick it up early, and they were waiting for a line call. They really needed that to be a little bit deeper. Yeah. This comes down to preference of the thrower in the hacks. The initial call was uh, what would have been Kelly's out turn. She prefers the in in this spot. So they've just the broom a little bit. She might have been a little on the full side too. Makes contact with the first. Catches the second one thick enough and does drive it out the side. It's Team Ackman sitting three right now. Hard to get around the uh, outturn side now with where that shooter st stopped. So she is going back to that intern you were talking about earlier, Mark. Yeah, I mean, I think the right. It's you're having to navigate some items that are a bit closer to the rings here, but I mean, you've got the backing there, and I think it makes sense here. Again, sweepers on this early, backing off. And you were wondering if it might be getting a little flat down the center line. This one uh, wider all the way down, and yeah. maybe is just that little bit strong when she stays out in that wider stuff. Comes down, nudges that stone. Megan Walters indicating it is the yellow that still shot rock. First thought is to play the draw. I think as much as anything, you you know that if you make the play on the stone at the back, Kim is going to draw. Yeah. So get there first and take it away. Yeah, I think so. Um, yeah, the only other thing would be if you, if you hit, and you, you, you know, so you flop out a little bit to the outside. Is there a hit and roll there? It is behind T, so yeah, we'll likely see just from the kind of draw attempt here. So. I mean, I, I think the draw makes the most sense, right? You can be, gosh, she can be anywhere from uh, top four to top eight, and you're you're pretty happy, yeah. Yeah, I think so. Shot or second, even. Yeah. But also the way this team is hitting here, right? If you 
you leave it, you know, somewhere in like that top eight foot and, you know, kind of a straight run at it, you're, you're pretty happy with that. You don't want to be too long here if you're short. Oh, yeah, if you're short, and you're good right opt to play the double on the other side. Sit two. She wouldn't be in a great spot to steal, but she could suddenly be in a really strong spot to, to force. <coughs> yep. A lot of decisions to be made when you don't feel the guard here. Although, like I said, I'm al I'm always a fan of this, and I I'm, I'm very guilty of uh, not feeling when maybe I should. And you know the other school of thought in this is you know that uh, the Koreans were going to try to force you, so maybe you let them force you to score two or three. Yeah, that's true. Gets a corner of that stone under cover, but did come to the back forefoot behind the T line, and it gives uh, Yunjin Kim a chance to follow that down. Yeah, I mean, be able to freeze on it for shot rock and still have a chance to steal yeah absolutely there's uh there's space there but it's it's getting tighter uh even though team uh ackman is sitting one two here uh good freeze here definitely flips the end back in favor of team kim first it skips rocks here Rushers had picked it up early, now backing away, waiting for a sweep call. Really so curling now, has to get by close. that stone at the top. Oh, she's got a nice line this coming by. Really can get this in there? That's really it's good. Dead buried corner of the yellow. That's very, very good. Shot rock. Can't see it. The only rock she could raise onto it is that uh, yellow one on the eight foot on the other side, and it's at the wrong angle. It'll yeah. just jam everything. Yeah, that curled more. Yeah, I, I thought they would be able. I didn't think they would be able to get that far inside of it. That's uh, that's really good. That's dead buried on a rock in the twelve foot. I think the discussion now is, do we have to make some kind of play to move that rock in the 12 foot just so we have a chance to, to that one with the last one? Uh, yeah, there's, oh gosh, yeah, I think you have to make a play I'm... on the one on the right hand side from the thrower's perspective, just to just even open up the button here. But I guess if you do that, then Kim, well, then, Kim then you're draws. playing for one. Yeah. Yeah. Kim draws there and goes top four on that side, you know. And, and it could be a steal of two. Yeah. Let me ask you this one, Mark, while they discuss the shot, because this could come down. It could come down to this, at the end. If you're uh, T. Mackland, and remember, it's it's Megan Walter, skipping. Uh, if you've got a choice here between scoring one or giving up one, which way are you going? You know, as as good as the team Ackland's been hitting, or uh, Megan's and team's been hitting here, I, I think you, you're okay with the steal of one, right? And just kind of hit your way out of trouble, but you're going to have to start rock. feeling stuff, yeah. Versus oh, a yeah. two-point lead without... No, you give up steal. That's, keep that's what it could come down to. If it's one point either way... You either keep the hammer in a tie game, or uh, you can go two up without. And there are teams that that uh, you would see keep the hammer. Yeah, um, I could see them making a case to keep hammer, right? You know, and uh, you know, I, you know, I wonder if uh, what the sports psychologist would say about the situation, right? You know, like if you're just if you're trying really hard to 
to get a score here and you don't do it, is that really bad for you? Or if you agree, hey, I'm going to give up a steal of one, you give up a steal of one, you feel better going into the last end, you know? So I think the discussion now, it looks like they're trying to figure out if there's a spot where they can put this rock that they oh. might be able to use it to get the red one out with the last one, but at the same time not opening anything up. If they make a play on that yellow stone at the top 12 foot to open up the red stone, Yunjin Kim's just going to suck another one around to the top of the four foot. Yeah, yeah I, th I think this is... And you'd be facing two. So can you, can you draw this into a spot where you'd have an angle slash perhaps available with the last one? Yunjin Kim's still going to have something with her last one, but uh, you'll make her throw a different shot. She might have to throw the wide out turn and, and see if she can't sit two that way. Or maybe she just throws a guard. Yeah, I mean, I think yeah, that's an interesting situation, right? If you you throw something on the uh, out turn side, and, or for Kim, if you throw something on the out turn side, right, and you miss it, then does Abby just kind of go in off that one? We'll see. Walter with the intern draw here. Just looking to put this stone in a position where she might be able to use it with her last one, and this is really curling. Does not want to leave this oh, overlaps on the top right. stone. Yeah, that's... Well, that takes away any chance to make a play on shot stone. <laughs> Unless Yunjin Kim gives you a chance. Really, what... Even if she plays something in the outturn side, yeah, she might exactly. be able to roll to work. Shot stone, but you're never going to move it. Everything's angled that way. Yeah, I mean... I think it's important here to try to sit too, because if you just leave the house the way it is, Megan Walter will throw the last one away and concede one. How do we get there? You know, with as much curl as she just got, the intern might still be there. Yeah. If she could get to the corner of her own, it might still be there. That that last one overcurled so much. I honestly do not like playing anything on this outturn side. You know, I mean, you, you're drawing. I, I don't. I don't hate the outturn. I, be, I don't think Megan Walter. I don't think Megan Walter's going to play for one. So if you ha it's open, she's just going to hit it and, gi and give you one. Also, if I'm uh, Yunjin Kim, I, I'm not sure that I mind if Megan Walter takes one, gives me the hammer. Yeah. She almost, she had her chance for three last end. This, uh, this ice and swift current and the rocks are very conducive to playing some offense. There have been a lot of threes scored. Last rock for Team Kim here. So looking to draw, see if she can catch enough of the forefoot on the outturn side to sit two. That would put some pressure on Megan, Walter. Picked it up, and I think they're maybe abandoning this now. Uh, does look like it's got some room here. Oh, okay, yeah, they abandoned it. Didn't think the weight was there, so... I think, though, you're right. It ended up, uh, they knew it was going to be a little bit short, so they figured just leave a guard. Takes away anything she might be able to run in. I, I don't think she was going to anyway. Yeah. yeah, it's just a little cat and mouse game, right? If you if you leave her a shot, is she going to try to take it from one, or uh, she's just going to keep hammer going into the last end? I 
they're still looking it's hard to know guy. for sure but i think they're looking at is there any way we can angle one of these to get to that red stone and i just Jeez. don't see an angle for them all the rocks that are closest to the rings are, are yellow so if, if you had an angle you might take a run at it but uh, yeah. it just doesn't look like there's one there i mean i don't think you can slice this that's what megan's looking at can you slice this one she just threw over the top of the one that's biting the 12 foot enough to have it come straight back or is she playing a double tap draw that's a lot of ice I would imagine from what we've seen from Megan, this has got to be the slice. And I suppose you're, you're essentially getting a free that's, shot at this, right? That's too much ice for the slice. No. This is, she's she's playing the double tap to the double butt. Double tap, okay. So her preference is the uh, two up. I don't think she'll be heartbroken if she doesn't make this and keeps the hammer coming home in a tie game. If she makes it great, if not, it's okay. Team Ackman, we're gonna rock here. For Yunjin Kim, uh, mission accomplished, I guess. She didn't want to see a blank end here. She's not going to. And Walter needs a little bit more curl with her last one. Not gonna get it, just rubs that stone. It slides harmlessly through the back. It'll be a steal of one for Kim. We're all tied up after seven ends of play in this B qualifier. It'll be Team Ackland with Last Rock in the eighth. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the 2022 Western Showdown, the largest international women's curling event in Canada this season. We're so glad you've decided to join us to see some of the top female curlers in the world participate in this event. My name is Jim Grundy. I'm the branch director of RBC Dominion Securities here in Swift Current. Our branch is not only a huge fan and support of curling in our community, we're so proud to be supporting the Western Showdown for its inaugural year. RBC is committed to working with our community partners to promote and celebrate vibrancy in sport in the communities in which we live. Thank you to everyone from the Western Showdown team for putting together this amazing event. On behalf of RBC, enjoy the tournament. Sean Joyce, Mark No, with you here from the RBC Dominion Securities Western Showdown. Happy to have had you all join us for this B qualifier action. We've had an exciting game, lots of rocks in play, and every reason to believe we're going to see one more end like that. Yeah, no, this has been a been a heck of a game, right? Just a lot of back and forth, you know. Uh, Team Kim doing a good job coming back here. Had a chance for three, ended up being short, and then made possibly the best draw of the game with that little inside freeze there in this last end that ultimately was the stealing rock. Well, you wondered about the tick last end, and here, even in the eighth, a team that a couple of players playing out of position and a sub or two subs perhaps on board, just not comfortable trying that shot here, even in the eighth end of a tie game. Critical to get this rock in front of the T-line. They did slide deep on the one last end, and that's where some of the trouble started. Rushers were on that this one early. Hard for this one here. This one appears to be very close to the guard. Does get it by. Now, yeah, it's going to be interesting here. Comes to rest, top tour, top four, maybe a little nibble of the button can you indicate they wanted to follow that down or are they throwing the second guard here? they're throwing the second guard here and i was just going to okay. ask your take on that sean here i mean with it i mean that's that's wow. a pretty good sp rock there in the top four but you're putting a lot of pressure on the rest of your team here during the second center I think you have to throw the second center here. You know that as uh, soon as she's able to, Megan Walter's going to start cleaning up the middle. So you have to make that uh, you have to make that difficult. And the guard is made. I, I've been impressed by uh, uh, Team Kim here and their ability to throw these kind of longer guards. It's a good amount of separation between the two. 
This is a better start here for the Ackland team here in, in eight than what they had in seven, though they slid deep in the seventh end. This one, top four, and if they can get another one in the top of the house here, it does mean that Yunja and Kim's going to have to move these yellows at some point in time, and while she's doing that, that gives you time to play the guards. I see this. Yep. Would have liked to have gotten right down to her own. That left room for the freeze. Now, if you're calling the shot here, are you uh, are you calling just dead freeze, or are you going to try to get greedy and call it to, to get to it and bump it just a little bit? I think you have to make sure you're going to get to it, and then you sweep to bump it if you can. But I it, think it's critical to make sure you get the line on this one. Yeah, if you're ever bumping open, it's, it's uh, pretty much a miss, yeah. Yeah, if you hit thin on the bump and roll open, maybe Walter will just hit and roll back under cover. If you slide by it, she'll peel a guard. Why the top one? She's got an ice line coming in here. The question is now, is Probably she going to have enough weight? One. Yeah. Needed just a little bit more weight, I think. But uh, ends up with that little spin at the end in a, in a not bad spot for her. Not enough room for the Ackland team to hit and roll away from everything. They'd have to jam it onto their stone in the forefoot. So looking for the nose hit. Nothing out of the brushers can't be on the outside of this at all. Oh, no. It's, it's starting to move there. How thin are we hitting this? Ooh. Just enough to get it by her own stone. Well, if you knew you were going to get it by, that's the way you'd want to hit it. You, yeah. you did move it as far off the center line. Good. Very scary. Jeez. Kim pretty much has to make a play on it. The question is how much weight. You just tap it back. Yeah, it's... Could play it towards the stone at the top of the forefoot, try to move them, but then you're going to roll off the center line and Team Ackland will have a chance to peel something. Looks like that might be what they're lining up, though. This might be your chance to deal with Shot Rock. You know you're still going to have something to, to bury around. It's unlikely they can peel all three of the rocks near the center line. The hit yep. does jam that stone off the top of the forefoot. That is a good effort. I thought they were. I thought that was just going to be too thin, but good weight and good little sweeping to get that last little bit out. Leaving that stone in the corner of the twelfth foot like that doesn't hurt them either, because now it's it's a little risky to play the double peel. You'd have to peel it towards that. And if you ever miss the one at the, if you miss the guard you could end up jamming and bringing it back into the middle It'd be tempting here to just play the straight peel yeah she's gonna give the double a, a look I think here She's been off and on, so this is close. Makes the first, makes the second, but uh, jams it and catches the stone at the top of the 12 foot. Does spin it off, but still two center guards and they're staggered. Yeah. Wow. So a good draw here. And uh, now you're going to see another double. A double peel attempt, yeah attempt I would my tendency would be to think it doesn't matter where this stone goes you're gonna see a double peel attempt I 
And if you're Yunjin Kim, you know that you're likely going to see a double peel attempt. So you need to make this draw good so that when they do, if they do manage to peel both guards, you can guard this one for the rest of the end. The sweepers have backed away. This might Is be this a little one over curl here. Over curl and heavy. Ooh, do you chase it? Nope. <laughs> no. <laughs> nope. You're quite happy that went back there. It gives you a chance to play these guards. All right. Let's see here. Taking the crack at the double peel, yeah. Yeah, for sure. This one's maybe a hair wide, yep. Yeah. A little straighter on the, what is the out turn for the left hander. Catching that stone on the side that and settle uh, in for uh, that's that's second. Yeah? I think it's second. It it probably doesn't matter. Yeah. certainly isn't going to affect the call for Yunjin Kim. The only place it might come into play is if you had a chance to just hit and roll out for the last one, but yeah. I think it is the red stone that's shot rock back there. Still gives Kim another chance to try to draw around top forefoot behind cover. Needing the steal here. Did pick it up initially out of hand. It's got room. Had to wait for it to curl. It's moving now. Can they get it deep enough? Maybe just had to wait a little bit too long for it to curl. Didn't have enough left to get it deep enough to be shot rock. Or uh, deep enough to be buried. Pardon me. It is shot rock. Probably just fully open. Yep, appears to be edge on edge. You could hit this just a sliver on the high side. You can make a double on the reds and, and roll away from that center guard. Your shooter would be in a spot where you could use it later. On it early, out of hand. Backing off now. And back on. Just clear the center guard. Makes the hit and actually rolls behind the center. All right. Are you freezing to the top or are we going back button? probably too late in the end to freeze to the top. I think you have to try to come around it, even if you're back four foot on this one. They've got three of them talking about it, and here comes the fourth. Settled on the draw, playing it from the out turn side. They have had uh, a few attempts from this side uh, through the game, and it does seem like there's big late movement from this side, perhaps more so than the other side. Certainly that could be a factor when you're trying to come around a rock that's only a few inches out in front of the forefoot, and you have to stop in time to be shot, yet buried. First, it skips rocks here. Looking for back forefoot. Cleaning? Well, a little bit more you can see on the screen. A little, little on the firm side of clean. Yeah. Room by the guard, but you still got to get by the rock at the top of the eight foot. Not going to. It's going to rub just off that stone a little bit. Spins in, probably sits shot rock.
Right, are, we, are we straight picking no. this out here, or...? I, I don't think so. Then she's got the same shot. If you straight nose of this, yeah. your shooter's in a spot where you could use it even if she made something, and she'd have to go to the other turn. Yeah. She won't be able to get in off of it because of where your your shot stone is. throwing the skip stones today here for Team Ackland. They do have last rock in this tie game. I'm going to make the hit on the first, and this is going to be tight to the guard. Makes the hit, does push her own over a little bit. Now did that leave room for Kim to get to the inside of that stone? I think it did. She's going to have to play it with weight to move it because she's going to need the shooter to roll in. I think it's all you got now. Is there any chance, do you think, Mark? Can she get far enough to the inside of that? Make the hit roll over and maybe touch the back end of that yellow stone and get a little bit of the forefoot. Doesn't look like a lot of air by the guard. No, and I mean, to do that, you're really going to have to throw... Uh, you're probably going to want to throw more weight than you're comfortable throwing, right? You, you've got to roll under here. Yeah. Last rocker team, Kim here. Looking for a hit and just an inside roll. This has been the straighter side. She's going to have to flirt with the guard a little bit. They're already sweeping for some curl. I think this Got is room by the front one. Makes the hit. Oh. Gets a little bit of a does sit for shot rock but it's mostly out in the open yeah. the only discussion here really was how much weight does she want to throw at it you can't see all of it you could opt to play it gentle if you'd like but I don't think there's any danger of uh, you know if you just played a picket I don't think you could ever hit it thin enough to touch your own stone no, yeah yeah, just a matter of what weight here. And uh Yeah. And again, this should be the straighter side and we'd imagine Abby's gonna throw a little bit of weight. Let's see. Or I'm sorry, Megan throwing a little bit of weight at this one. Final stone here in this B qualifying matchup. Megan Walter just needs to make shot stone go away. She's got second shot as it is. Sweeping for some curl. This has got to move a little bit to catch a piece. She's caught it. Is it going to move it far enough? It does. It does. Megan Walter, a nice shot with her final stone. That'll pick up the single point and the win for Team Ackland. They move into the championship playoff round tomorrow morning at 9 o'clock for the uh, Kim team. They'll still have another chance. They'll be back on the ice here about an hour and a half or an hour I think it is uh, we want to thank everyone for joining us here on CBC Gem and Sastel Curling Stadium We've enjoyed having you here with us for this B qualifier be back for the C qualifiers tonight and the championship round all day tomorrow my name is Sean Joyce we have myself and my partner Mark No thanks for joining us and we'll see you later <laughs>